hello everyone it's much grace welcome back to the channel uh, if you're new here make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon well in today's video uh, we're gonna go back to the 80s with a little nostalgia with Janet and James DeBarge so here is the article about Janet and James did you know that Janet had a song uh, on her album uh, that was about James DeBarge called pretty boy comment below if you knew that I didn't know that Anyway, it says it was a romance that started on Dream Street and was propelled by the power of love to its final destination, a wedding altar in Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's the way close friends describe the relationship of talented teenage singer Janet Jackson, whose show business career started with her famous Jackson brothers and 21-year-old James DeBarge, handsome member of the sensational Motown singing group DeBarge. While she was being linked romantically with actor Todd Bridges because of their courtship on Different Strokes, the television series, her heart really belonged to James, who is best described by his song, Pretty Boy, featured in her current A&M album, Janet, Jack Janet Jackson, produced by her brother, Marlon. The article goes on to talk about, um, you know, it gives a little history about uh, James DeBarge um, growing up family of 10 under the same roof, native Detroit. Uh, James never experienced a quiet moment. Um, his parents, Robert Lewis and Edeline Abney DeBarge, encouraged the 10 kids to sing as soon as they could talk and play the nearest instrument that was put into their hands. Uh, today, as Motown's successor to the then Jackson 5, the DeBarge family and James have found new fame. If we touch just one person's life with our music, well, that's what it's all about, says El DeBarge, who wrote and produced the third album. Apparently, his brother James touched Janet in a special way and made it permanent. Because they chose to elope, they, did, they didn't have the benefit of presence of joint family blessings. So the article, um, it goes on to talk about Joe Jackson. He says he didn't want uh, his daughter Janet to marry. So it reads, as soon as she was 18, I guess she decided that was what she wanted to do, the famous father said of his daughter, whose career he has nurtured and still manages. Um, it says, as far as I'm concerned, I did not want her to get married, nor did I say anything to her about it because I was working very hard on her career. I felt that what I was trying to do with her career was such that matters could wait a little while. You just can't build an artist like you would like, like you would like to and deal with the marriage situation at the same time. It makes it a little too hard to deal with. Since Janet has gotten married as a father, I wish her the best. Through life, I'm going to continue to help her as a father as much as I can. There's nothing changed about that. That's just the father's wish. I hope the best for them both. I'm pretty sure that with the upbringing that Janet has had, she won't let she won't let this reflect in any sort of way toward us. Okay, so then the article goes on and says, ask how his wife Catherine feels about the marriage. Jackson said, she sort of feels the same way that I do. She, wish, she wishes the best for Janet, and as a mother, she would do anything she possibly can to work close with her in anything she wants to do. He said he has not discussed Janet's marriage with other members of, of his family. So that's the article about Janet and uh, James DeBarge and their marriage. Comment below what you guys think and what was your reaction um, if you remember back then.